Hi there, this is Carrie Jaffe Pickett, CarrieFreelance.com, Marketing and Communications, also at Carrie Writer. And I'm going to show you today um, one of the programs I like for blogging on the iPad 2. And um, the one I keep circling around to, I've tried a few of them, is this blog press right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and show you what the screen looks like. Um, here's all my past posts which come up automatically and it's connected here to my Carrie Writer blog which is my blog on Blogger. You'll notice there's a save button and then a little information button which I'll get to uh, shortly. So I can just go ahead and start typing my new blog post and I can go ahead and just begin anywhere. I might click down a little because I know a photo is coming. So here we go. I can start typing. Now I like to kind of start with a photo first because it's what makes me feel inspired and creative and all that good stuff. So here's where this is cool. So I'm going to show you, come in a little bit and show you, here we've got this little cool camera. I'm going to click on the camera and I have a choice of media library which is the photos I've already collected on the iPad or take a picture so first I'll show you media library and here are all the images I've collected so far on my iPad we've got July 4th we've got food all the fun stuff and speaking of food I know I have a very nice blueberry shot from the farmers market and I'm gonna go with that so I'm selecting that photo, and here it is. Now, I know I'm probably going to want to center this differently, so I'm going to click right on it, and I'm going to align left. And here in this dialog box you get, you can center, align left, align right, and you can also change the width and height if you want to change that. For now, I'm going to leave it, and you can also remove it. So I'm going to click on Done, and it looks the same if you just look at it, but if you go to Save, Save and Preview, you'll see that it's now on the left. Pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to stick with that size for now, and I can just go ahead oh, and say uh, Done. And I can keep typing if I want there, or I can type underneath and just keep going. So that's one cool thing with the photo function on this program.